Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, I'm working on the proof of Gaussian integral using polar coordinates, so stay tuned. Okay, here's the question. The question is, show that integral from negative infinity to infinity e to the power of negative x squared dx is square root of pi. We'll be using polar coordinates and also double integral to show this. So first of all, let me call this integral as the i, right? So say i is integral from negative infinity to infinity e to the power of negative x squared and dx. Let me work on i squared using another variable, the y2. So i squared is going to be then integral of negative infinity to infinity e to the power of negative x squared dx. That times integral from negative infinity to infinity. Let's use another variable y. So e to the power of negative y squared and dy. Okay, then let's combine these two as double integral. So this is the same as an integral from negative infinity to infinity, also integral from negative infinity to infinity of e to the power of negative x squared minus y squared dx dy. So that has to be the same as now e to the power of negative parenthesis x squared plus y squared and dx dy. And of course, this has to be on the plane of R2. Then we'll be using this polar coordinate conversion by calling your x as R cosine theta and y as R sine theta. And of course, your R has to be Jacobian determinant. So that we can say x squared is then R square cosine square theta, and your y square is going to be r square sine square theta. So that we can add your x square and y square up. So if you're adding them, then it has to be pulling this r square out, make your parenthesis, we have sine square theta plus cosine square theta, which is equal to one. So that is why x square plus y squared is only this r squared. So using this, we can rewrite this i squared as now. Integral negative infinity to infinity, also negative infinity to infinity, of now e to the power of, say, negative r squared, still of dx and dy. Okay, first, let's now turn this dx into dr by working on this integral from 0 to infinity. Then it has to be r times e to the power of negative r squared. Then this dx becomes dr. Then after, we were working on this dy into d theta by working on this integral from 0 to 2 pi. So the first step, okay, let's turn this dx into dr. So we should have still negative infinity to infinity, and this integral should be from 0 to infinity. Then we should have r times e to the power of negative r squared. This dx becomes dr, and then we still have dy. Now let's turn this dy into d theta by working on this integral from 0 to 2 pi. So that is then the same as integral from 0 to 2 pi, and integral from 0 to infinity, and r times e to the power of negative r squared, dr, and d theta. Okay, then we can easily rewrite this as integral from 0 to 2 pi of d theta. Okay, that times integral from 0 to infinity, r times e to the power of negative r squared, dr. Okay, then let me call this um, now then k. So let me introduce this k. And then calling this k as now the r square. Okay, calling this k as r square, then we can say your dk over now 2r. Okay, dk over 2r is then going to be equal to now the dr. So still using this, we can rewrite this i square part as now. So this integral has to be just a 2 pi. So 2 pi times integral from 0 to infinity, still r times now e to the power of the negative k. And then uh, your dr was dk over 2r. 
some cancellation. So first of all, we can cancel this R, and at the same time, we can cancel this 2, 2. So that is why now what we have is pi times integral from 0 to infinity, then we have e to the power of negative k, and then we have just a dk. Okay, so if you work this out, then it has to be the same as okay, pi times antiderivative of e to the power of negative k is negative e to the power of negative k. So negative e to the power of negative k, and then that is from 0 to infinity. Okay, so working this out, then it has to be the same as pi times parenthesis negative e to the power of negative infinity minus minus e to the power of zero. Okay, the negative e to the power of negative infinity, this is equal to zero, and negative negative plus e to the power of zero is equal to one. So this is the same as then pi times now uh, zero plus one, which is equal to just the pi. So we can say i square was equal to just a pi. So that is why i that we are looking for, which is integral from negative infinity to infinity, e to the power of negative x squared dx. This has to be now square root of the pi. Okay, so this was the proof of the Gaussian integral using polar coordinates. So I'll be back more videos, more questions like this sometime soon.